Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to do the solution issue number 11 by Ultra Frost Malibu Comics. Uh, it's made by James Hutnell, John Stadema, and Barbara Kahlberg. If I'm saying that correctly. And we have a beautiful um, Dan Brereton cover. So we dive right in because um, <laughs> I have to work in 10 minutes, or well, not 10 minutes, but 15 minutes. So I can uh, put out a review real quick. Um, so let's do that. Uh, we go to, uh, well, the solution is here to free their teammate Shadow Mage. And they are, uh, you know, being, she's being held by the, those wizards or alien wizards or alien magicians or sorcerers called Veer. And they are on an alien planet and they are being surrounded. Oh, skipping a few pages. This is by, uh, the Ar the Erwin or the Arwen army and uh, this looks freaking fantastic. Uh, look at this man! This is the artist, um, phenomenal job. It's a long time ago that I've seen so many characters on on one page or two pages, and I must say there is way more coming in this book. You you're gonna you're gonna look everywhere. Um, so yeah, they are surrounded. And the Veer is looking on their uh, very cool looking television screen uh, about what happens. And, and Erwin, who is, uh, she is the hostage, uh, you know, she's, uh, you know, waiting what's happened to her. Well, uh, these, these sorcerers, magicians, uh, evil guys, look at the screen. And uh, also props to the artist again for, you know, doing really cool designs with these characters. Uh, so Leila says... Um, to the, uh, I believe, the leader of the Erwin armies. He says, uh, hey, listen, we can give you the Vorlex. It's, it isn't working anyway. But that's not important. There's an army of Darker, or Darkur. We'll be here any second. But uh, the leader says, yeah, we know we, um, that they are one away. But we're going to kill you first so we can um, have the Vorlex. Um, you know, for this, yeah, you can, have to, you can check out my other reviews for what the Vorlex is. Basically, it's some kind of an infinity stone. It grant wishes, but it corrupts the user uh, if the user is using that crystal multiple times. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, so there will be uh, an attack uh, or a war, if you will. So the, the Erwin army attacks the solution. And the solution, pretty powerful themselves. But they also, let me look at this. Wow. Last time I've seen so many characters on screen in, in, a, um, in a comic when, you know, was George Paris, when he still was alive, did Avengers or Justice League or stuff like that, you know, putting all these characters on, 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 on screen or on paper. It looks freaking fantastic. So, yeah, so the, Ar the, Aaron, the uh, Aaron army and the Darkurian army are there. Uh, they are at war with each other because they hate each other. They will also want the, all, all want the crystal. And uh, so um, Outrage, uh, who is a member of the Darkurian armor, uh, army, who is, a, well, they consider him a traitor. Um, yeah, now attacks their, um, you know, their opponents, uh, his opponents. And I must say, the art, uh, I spoke about the art a lot. I mean, it's looking freaking fantastic, but there's a lot of gore in as well. I mean... If you can look at this, there's teeth flying everywhere, uh, spines being ripped out. It's just crazy shit, man. It's just like, like a Mortal Kombat-esque game or, or, or movie. And uh, I also love the fact that all these these Darkurians can change in something else. Well, they, they never look the same, and that's fun. And it seems that they can only be killed... Um, because they have some, some kind of a small gland in their bodies. And um, so if you cannot, you know, destroy that, it, it's, it's basically impossible to kill them. Um, but Leila Cho managed to do that just by hacking at it. And then you see all these other guys, you know, coming in and she's basically are being overwhelmed. Uh, but she still holds their own. Uh, also, uh, Outrage, uh, you know, is getting overwhelmed as well, but he is some kind of a berserker guy. He revels in all the violence. Um, that's his thing. And um, the fun fact is, I mean, look at this. He's, 
Did they say, well, that they are, well, his end is near and that he cannot hold on for long anymore. And then he changes some kind of a, I don't know, I want to say human, but monstrous butter knife and it cleaves, he cleaves his enemy in two. <laughs> Jesus Christ, it looks so cool. When, when, when did we see that for the last time? Uh, probably never. Um, but then, the, well, I'm not saying he's the weakest, but uh, dropkick, uh, he's way out of his depth. He is fast. He can shoot, you know, bio blast or whatever. But these, these creatures are way too uh, too powerful. And he's also being, you know, uh, chased by uh, by the Erwin army. And then he, well, he is, they want him because he has the, the crystal. And since there is no way out, he's going to use the crystal, although he doesn't want to. And he says, stop them. And that's just a simple command, right? But then the crystal does this. <laughs> Disintegrates them on the spot. And uh, he is uh, shocked about what the crystal can do. And he realizes that that weapon or the crystal is way too dangerous to be you know, controlled or to hold. And it needs to be destroyed. Because he gets a rush whenever he uses that. Basically wants to use the crystal more and more and more until it corrupts them. Um, even Aaron, who has been bound here, says, or tied up, says, don't use it again, Troy. It will corrupt. I just said that, Aaron. Just don't don't copy what I said. Just be a good hostage. <laughs> so he's been shot in the back. And then uh, one of the Aaron army members grabs the, um, the crystal. But then um, Outrage, Verk, um, that's his real name. Outrage is his quote-unquote superhero name, comes in. Wants to uh, help a drop kick, but then uh, he's a little bit too late. Um, well, this is a little bit and in, in not in the good order, but uh, let's let's wait a minute. Something goes wrong here. So there's a couple of seconds here because he is seeing. Wait a minute. This. Oh yeah, he sees that Troy. has been shot in the back. Probably this page would be better here, and this page would be better here since when it comes to flow. Um, yeah, minor gripe, but that's it. So he jumps and he wants to help. And then um, the soldier says, destroy him while he's jumping um, at her. And then uh, his uh, his legs are also, you know, vaporizing, almost dead. And uh, the soldier says, Yuli was impressive, Darker, but in the end, futile. And now, and then Dropkick comes in and, you know, kicks her in the back. And... Um, one of these uh, Darkurians wants to grab the stone and it goes a little bit on and on back and forth. And then Layla gets the crystal at the end. And uh, well, she is, she needs to use it otherwise. Well, it does an army and they're just with four or five people of, of, of them. So they, they cannot win uh, in the long term. So they need to do something. And um, again, freaking cool looking arts and Layla looks gorgeous and, and all these creatures look freaking fantastic and um, she uses the crystal and they all they say Layla no don't do it and she says kill them and then something happens and they're being um, transported to yeah wherever and um, one of the team members says hey, um, Layla what are you trying to do back there don't you remember what Era said every time you use the vortex it corrupts your soul and she says, yeah, I know, but I couldn't help it. It was almost as if the thing made me use it. And he um, said, what else are we, are we going to do? So they are arguing a little bit. And then the light flips on. And they are completely somewhere else. And they, you know, look like they are on an alien planet. You know, like on Alien, you know, the movie. And then, the, yeah, not other. They've been teleported to the place where the Veer is. Uh, the, those sorcerers and that uh, yeah that's the end of the book so overall I think it's great I mean I complain uh, when it hey speaking of Mortal Kombat that's a coincidence um, I complain a lot when it comes to comic books uh, when it comes to action scenes in those particular 20 20 22 28 32 pages there is not a lot of in it uh, mostly there is one or two pages of kicking and screaming and hitting around and that's it this book is just constantly fighting, killing, maiming, surviving, going from left to right, etc. And I really find that refreshing because uh, 
I just want to have a comic that goes all out and show every gory bit of detail. And the solution in this issue exactly did that. So when it comes to story, not so much, except for you know what happens in the end and about the corruption uh, of the um, of the crystal and that you know the, the Erin or the Air One and the Darkurian army wants to have the crystal, but you know just just like a uh, like I said a boss to the walls battle to the death comic and yeah I enjoy myself very very much uh, great stuff. Um, I want to know what happens in issue 12 that I also have. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think about this. Uh, is this what you like? Or do you want to me, you know, see more story in comics in general? Uh, or more like this? You tell me. Guys, thank you so much for watching. See you next time. I'm going off to work. Bye-bye.